This week, I was in West Palm Beach to visit with national age group record holder Josh Sukowski. Sukowski is a freshman at the Kings Academy and recently just turned 15. He currently holds a 13-14 national age group record in the 100 and 200 back and long course meters that he set this year. In March, he broke the 200 back nag record with a 200.97, lowering it by almost two full seconds. And the record he broke belonged to current world record holder Aaron Pearsall. Yeah, that's been my goal since I was turned 13 because I broke the 200 yard back 11-12 nag. And so really after that, I was aiming for short course and long course. And my long course swimming really started to take off. So I thought I have a serious chance of getting it. A few weeks later at the Tier Pro Swim Series in Richmond, Josh took down the 100 back national age group record with a 56.62, taking down legendary age group swimmer Michael Andrews record in the process. I went out, I knew that I had to go out as fast as I could because up until that point I'd only been out 27.9. So I knew that I'm going to die anyways because of how dead tired I am because it was my fifth taper meet for the season. So I went into it just thinking, all right, I'm going to go all out the first 50 because I don't have that opening speed. So I was like, I got this. And I, went, I think I went out 27.5. I'm sorry, did you just say five taper meets? Yeah. Uh, we started at the beginning of March where we had Florida sectionals and plantation. I, it wasn't really a taper meet, I tapered a day and it, I didn't shave and I wore my sea tech suit. So it was kind of just a meet getting ready for long course. But then we went right into my Junior Olympics, which was my big short course meet, and then into Clearwater, and then into the Florida Gold Coast versus FL All-Star meet, and then it ended with Richmond. Josh has already taken down two nag records this year for some pretty big names. So which record meant more to him? I'd have to say the Pearsall one because I think of Pearsall as the greatest 200 backstroker of all time. And as you can see, as you go further, 15, 16, 17, 18 world record, they're all held by him. And so that really made it special to know that I'm kind of on the same track as him. And if I can just keep it up, I, I have it. And also all my teammates were there when I broke the 200 back. It was a lot more special to just do it with all my friends rather than at Richmond where it was only me and my dad. I kind of got out and only me and my dad really knew that I did it. So it was kind of us, just us two celebrating where at Clearwater the whole place was going crazy. Josh was also able to qualify to swim at the 2020 Olympic Trials, which is every swimmer's dream. By the time he gets to Omaha, Josh will be only going into his junior year of high school. Before this year, the biggest meet he had ever attended was a Tier Pro Swim Series when he broke the 100 back nag record. At that meet in Virginia, Josh was able to swim next to one of his idols, world record holder Ryan Murphy. It was, it was awesome. When I was eight, I saw him race at the uh, Florida State meet. I got to see him break the national high school record, and I just saw that this is what I wanted to be. Because at that point, I was also a backstroker, and I've kind of turned myself into a backstroker to follow his steps. Just that's become my favorite stroke. And just knowing that I get to race him and be close to him, just even in the same heat, is amazing. Josh right now swims seven practices a week, but now that he has turned 15 and approaching his sophomore year of high school, he will start swimming eight practices a week, training two doubles during the week. He also said he prefers long course to short course, even if his training pool is only in short course yards. My backstroke, I've become better with stroke count and stroke tempo, and that's a lot easier to do long course. The turn doesn't really interrupt the tempo that you have, so Long course has started to become my favorite. He's only able to train long course in the summertime about three practices per week by making the drive up north about 20 minutes to Stewart. He is also trained by his father Jonathan at Flood Aquatic Swim Team with a team of just 45 swimmers. So are there any pros and cons with having your dad as your club coach? There's not a lot of cons, I would say. The only thing is that sometimes we get a little on each other's nerves just because of how comfortable we are with each other. So at times we can get a little like on edge with each other, but the pros really are way more than the cons because I know that he cares about me way more than any other coach would and that no matter what it is, he has my best interest at heart. Josh is hoping to drop more in his 200 back to get under two minutes at U.S. Nationals at Stanford this summer, as well as get down to a 55 in the 100. He is hoping he can qualify for the national junior team and maybe have a chance to represent Team USA at the World Junior Championships at the end of the summer. I would love to represent the U.S. if I could and I'm only about a second off of the time, so if I can just have a good swim at Stanford, then I'll be close. Josh is still very young and certainly could have a bright future in the sport. He is certainly one to keep an eye on moving forward.